Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Snot channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hub series episode. It's episode number 89 and today I'm about to head down to Oakland as I'm going to be there to watch a UPSL preseason game between Oakland Stompers versus Azteca FC of Sacramento. Now it's that time of the year again where most of the soccer league here is in preseason mode from MLS all the way down to the fifth tier of UPSL and I believe for the Stompers this is going to be the second game for them in preseason while for Azteca FC I don't believe they actually have played a preseason coming into this game so this is going to be the first one for them t tonight but yeah let's hope we're going to get a good game tonight obviously it is a preseason game which means that the quality level is probably not going to be very high and it might be very scrappy but let's hope at least we're going to get some goals into night game Let's go soccer. All right, so I've just arrived at Romney Park, which is the venue for today's game. And looks like this game is actually going to be taking place on the other pitch over there because this one is not light up. So I'm just going to take a walk through this gate and get myself to over there. Okay, so I've just arrived on the other pitch, or should I say probably not the other pitch because as you can probably tell, this doesn't really look like a pitch since there is not really any soccer lines on this pitch here. There's also no goalpost. So I'm guessing the game is actually going to be taking place on this pitch. Although the lights still haven't turned on yet and we've still got about 15 minutes before the beginning of the game. And you can see the players are already warming up. They're kind of like warming in the dark here. Okay, I know you guys can't see this, but all the sun, all the lights have just turned off. And it is just complete darkness all of a sudden. And I'm not quite sure you guys can see, but I think the players are still doing their warm-up in the dark, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I mean, it's now 7.15, which is supposed to be the start time of this game, but which, you know, they still haven't got the lights working yet. And I think we're going to be under a bit of a delay in this game. So one thing I just realized is that you see that car over there that has its lights on? Well, that car actually turns on its lights not by an accident, but it's actually reflecting toward those players over there that is doing the pre-game warm-up. So I'm guessing one of the coaches probably think that, you know what, since there is no lights, I'm just going to go to my car and turn on my lights, and that's basically the way to use as a lighting source for my players to warm up, which is not a bad idea. I mean, I guess that's a bit of an old-fashioned way to basically do pre-game warm-up. But like I said, we are still waiting for the lights to turn on any minute now. Okay, so just a little bit update in terms of the light situation. So from what I just told a couple of minutes ago, apparently the guy that was in charge of the lights, well, he kind of forgot his keys to basically open the light box that turns on the lights. So what he is doing right now is that he's going to go back to get the keys and then come back here at Romney Park. And once basically he got the key to open the box and turn on the lights, it's going to be takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the lights to fully lit up the field and ready for kickoff obviously the lights here at Romney Park is not really uh, oh actually as I'm speaking right now the lights looks like is about to turn on now so looks like we got roughly about 10 to 15 minutes before the game kicks off obviously the lights here at Romney Park is not LED lights so that means that it doesn't just automatically turn on itself but the good news now is that the light is kind of shining and in just a bit it will be basically fully lit and we should be getting ready for the start of this game now it looks like the players are on the pitch and after almost a 25 minute delay we are just about to get ready to start this match and the referee gets this match underway after a 25 minutes delay, this preseason match is underway with Azteca FC wearing all red tonight, going from left to right, while the Stompers going with their usual teal kit, going from right to left. So we are now finally underway here at Romney Park. They play another long ball here, and that's a decent long ball, but the flag is up on the other side, and well, we're still going here, and I think it's gonna it's not gonna be a free kick here 
Well, the linesman raised his flag for almost five seconds, and I don't think the referee even saw his linesman raising his flag, and he basically let that stall for to pretty much keep going. Obviously, if that goal went in, it wouldn't have counted because it was offside a long time ago. Intercepted, although now there's a bit of a scramble there as he hit that one off the volley and it's just a little bit high there. Wow, that was inches from putting it into the back of the net and probably the best chance we have so far in this preseason match. Hopper so far has definitely been the better team, although now. That goalkeeper's gonna run himself into a bit of a trouble, and it is gonna be clear off the line there. Wow, that was definitely a big mistake by the goalkeeper that basically trying to play it out and got dispossessed. And here comes the Stompers as they play this ball to the right. He's one on one with the keeper, and the keeper saves that one there as it is gonna be a corner coming up. Another big chance for the Stompers to get the opening goal, but it's the goalkeeper denies him there, and referee, 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 wow, I'll tell you what, that player basically just kind of almost ready to wrestle him down, and I am really surprised the referee did not call the foul like five seconds ago. Literally waited until that player basically wrestled him down to basically blow his whistle as here comes the stompers here That's a good ball chance for one nothing and it's in the back of the net there for the stompers as that is Is that gonna be a goal actually? Oh Actually, yep, it's gonna stand I thought for a second it was maybe offside, but the stompers have taken the lead here as the chances that they had in the first 20 minutes, which there were a bunch of them, have finally paid off as they have got the goal here and they take a 1-0 lead here. They play a long ball here on the left side. That's a decent long ball and it is going to be wide there. And well, I'll tell you what, that striker basically kind of pushed off that defender and I'm surprised that that was not a foul call. Oh, and it's given away, and here comes Azteca, and it is going to be saved by the keeper. And that is going to be a throw-in as uh, the Stompers dodge a huge bullet there. A horrendous giveaway at the back, and Azteca almost got a surprising equalizer. Now the Stompers are going to go on the break here, and that's a good, decent ball here. Is that Stomper player looking to either go all the way and say you're going to play the ball back to the center and it is going to be wide there as wow that player was four yards out and I have no clue how he did not put that one away. Oh, and here comes the Stompers again. Chance for the second goal. It's saved and it's in the back of the net. As that player hits it into the back of the net on the rebound. And the Stompers has got their second goal. It is now 2-0. And that is the halftime whistle. Well, halftime here at Romney Park. It is Oakland Stompers 2. Sacramento Aztec FC or Azteca FC nothing so it's halftime here at Romany Park and you know what I am actually really surprised that it's halftime right now because I literally just checked on my watch and we only have played 35 minutes in the first half and you know I thought for sure that we're probably gonna get 45 minutes in this game and there's gonna be two 45 minutes half but it seems like that is not gonna be the case it looks like we're only gonna have two 35 minute half in this match but in terms of this game well certainly the stompers have been by far the better team but overall it has been very sloppy from both team I mean you know, the defense from both teams have looked very sloppy. The Azteca FC defense have pretty much been non-existent in this game as they just cannot stop those lethal kind of through ball that 
the Stompers have been able to do here in the first half. And as for the Stompers, you know, they could have easily been up more than 2 nothing right now if they could have just put away some of those big chances that they have. Uh, I still cannot wrap my head around on the fact that that Stomper player that was four yards out in front of goal and there was nobody around him and all he has to do is basically tap the ball into the back of the net and he just didn't do that I mean he puts it why I have no idea how he missed that but either way let's see how the second half is gonna go and you know I don't know if we're gonna have just 35 minutes second half or are we gonna have the full 45 minutes because you're in the first half we only played 35 minutes <laughs> And the referee gets this game back underway. And, well, it's only been, what, eight minutes since the halftime whistle has blown. So, looks like the referee is trying to get this game underway and get this game done as quick as possible. Kind of don't blame him because it is kind of very cold tonight. And I think as soon as he can get this game done, he's just going to immediately go back to his car and drive back home but either way the second half is underway let's see if the stompers could potentially get a couple more goals or the last tech up made a little bit of a comeback here in the second half the stompers looking at trying to maybe make it free nothing and it is gonna be go behind for a goal kick as the keeper basically saved the original no shot and one of his Team may basically try to maybe stab that one into the back of the net, but he basically puts that one over, and it's gonna be a goal kick here. We're gonna get a free kick here for Azteca. So might be a chance for them to maybe get one back. Here comes the free kick, and well, the player was trying to go for a bicycle kick, and the player was trying to maybe dig this one into the back post, but instead he puts it over the bar so we play about 17 minutes here in the second half and it is still two nothing in favor of the stompers and you know the second half let's be honest it has been very very boring and it's been very dull uh chances have been pretty much come at a premium for both of these teams but yeah let's see if we're gonna maybe get one more goal here in this game or is this match is going to end to nothing in favor of clinton stompers here comes the stompers on the other end and that's a good ball here chance to potentially get the third goal and it's wide there as that is gonna be a goal kick and a big opportunity for the Stomper to get the third goal and really probably the best chance we had so far here in the second half. Azteca able to get this ball back and that defender made a bit of a mistake there. Here's a chance for Azteca and instead of scoring a goal they pretty much just made a field goal there. That ball is blast up to the upright. Here comes Azteca and that player is going to be on side. Here's a chance for them to get one back. And it goes straight to the goalkeeper. Wow. A big chance for them to maybe get a consolation goal and something to feel good about themselves here in this preseason game. But instead, the Stompers preserve this clean sheet. Oh, that's that go. They get the ball back. And referee. That has to be a free kick, and indeed it is. And this is a really good spot. Maybe about 25 yards out, and a chance for Azteca to maybe get a consolation goal here. And get one back. Here comes the free kick, and it goes straight to the goalkeeper. And really, that's a very disappointing free kick for Azteca, as they didn't really put any power into that free kick. A second effort here is going to be going right back to the keeper but the keeper spills it and that is going to be clear right back to that defender and that is the full time whistle well i'm not quite sure that we actually play the full 45 minutes but it is full time here at romany park and it ends oakland stompers too Azteca FC of Sacramento, nothing. So it finished here at Romany Park as the Stompers with a 2 nothing win over Azteca FC. And at the end of the final whistle, I did double check my watch to see if we actually play the full 45 minutes here in the second half, which we did. So basically, we only play 80 minutes in this game. And basically, in the first half, we only played 35 minutes. But in the second half, we played the full 45. 
I mean, I, I don't know what to say about that. I don't think I've ever seen or attend a soccer game where one half we only play 35 minutes and then the second half we played the full 45 and that both half we didn't play the same amount of time but still I think even though that is the case you know it is preseason so at the end of the day that really doesn't matter I mean if this was actually a competitive match then I'm pretty sure one of the team is going to kind of file a complaint toward the league office the fact that you know they didn't play the full 90 minutes in this game and speaking of the game itself well the second half all I'll say is is that it was very dull and there was barely any chance whatsoever and I'll basically just kind of leave it at that but either way guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time with another sports top series video